connected. Channel switched. Now, one of Tim's streams, you'll see uh, he uses a Kotasa, so you see how it works. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon. Hey, Tim. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Hey, Tim. Hi, Tim. Service up, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Yep, four o'clock in the morning. Oh dear. Craziness. User yeah, joined the channel. Hey Jess. Hi Kevin. Hi Kevin. Hey Kevin. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Wow, it's blowing. So we start at 1900 and the first mountain is a 2500. With the wind blowing on it real hard. User joined your channel. Hello guys. Thank you. Okay. I get okay. Hello. Yeah, I think so. Cool. No problem. Good, good. Oh, good. Did you find out what was causing it? Yeah, I deleted it and uh, installed new. <laughs> it's the same as a printer when you're not uh, printing. <laughs> Mostly is the cable not plugged not in. <laughs> I'm glad you fixed it. Yeah, I don't know the reason, but it works now. You really don't need the reason if you find a solution? Yeah, no, no any questions. <laughs> User joined your channel. Did you hear the joke about Microsoft building a car? And if it, anything went wrong with it, you had to stop the engine. Open the doors, get out, get back in again, close the doors and restart it. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. That's true. Oops. What's happened? I don't know. A crash? Oh, you crash? No. The server crash? No, somebody crashed that. Uh... I got when I got towed up. For some reason, there was a plane. What's everybody flying? Uh, TS three fifteen. Yeah, well, thanks. Oh, okay. I'm going for the wild card today. Discus two A, <laughs> fifteen meter. Yeah. Like someone has a Blanock without passenger. Oh, it's a four or <laughs> fifteen task again. Okay. User joined your channel early in the morning.
Ah, I lost User my communication here. Channel. To my navigation, I gotta get out of here. Jesus. User joined your channel. Good afternoon. Hi, Martin. Hi, Martin. Hi, Hi Martin. On Friday here, I didn't fly, but we had nine knot thermals. People were climbing in them. In New Mexico? Pretty, yeah, pretty nice early three flights. Well, that's a far cry from when I rolled through uh, all yard. Yeah, I wish I would have gotten in touch with you before you left. Probably yeah, was I was thinking about it, but we were uh, thinking about trying to make it all the way out to Yosemite, and so we would be flying low as we came through, as it was, passing through uh, <clears throat> Albuquerque, coincided with that uh, snowfall you guys had last week. Oh, okay. So you came through last, well, whenever it was, <laughs> weekend or Yeah, somewhere. so that was fun. Pulling a 30-foot camper. Now and then the wildest thing was, uh, what was it? We uh, made it as far as uh, Flagstaff and uh, then uh, dropped the camper off at a uh, campsite and went down to Sedona. And then coming back up out of uh, Sedona, you know how there's that uh, little uh, valley uh, road that does switchbacks to get back up on top? Towards Flagstaff? Yep. Yeah, out of Oak Creek Canyon. Yep. So we were, as we're entering the valley on the bottom, we're in a little bit of mist and that sort of stuff and it had been uh, threatening rain all day. Um, but then we start noticing that all the cars that are coming toward us, you know, down the hill, they have snow caked on the front bumpers, the grill, and some even had snow piled on the hood. So we're thinking, yeah, this could be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Within about 200 yards of cresting the top and getting off the switchbacks, we go from wet pavement to two or three inches of snow on the pavement. Done. Yeah, you get a lot of elevation quick, don't you? I think Flagstaff is oh, like yeah. 7,000 feet. 
Yep. Maybe it, and no, so it, more. in the end, I actually had to pull off to the side and flip my uh, F-250 into four-wheel drive because uh, my back end was breaking loose. I just can't imagine having to turn around with a trailer and go back down. Yeah, well, I didn't have the trailer on it at that time. We were okay. uh, footloose and fancy free just oh, with that's the truck. Good. good, good, good. But no, it got to the point, you know, in about 100 yards, it got to the point where the back end, if I gave it anything more than a breath of uh, pressure on the accelerator, it bricked loose. So I had to pull off to the side. And of course, the Rivian that was following me, who's got all wheel drive, he just, you know, tiptoed right on past me like nothing. What sort of tires do you have? Oh, God, I don't remember the size of tires, but they're uh, oversized tires and they're knobby. But it was just, we we went to the point of having uh, two or three inches even in the uh, tire tracks. Okay. And there had been rain previous, so there may have been a little bit of ice down. And that's when we decided, you know, we don't need to get all the way to Yosemite. Because it would have been another two days of hard driving. And going where they were uh, planning for snow. Yeah, I was out sledging with my granddaughter this morning. She's only three, so. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so in the end, we uh, made it a random style uh, trip. And uh, let's see here. Other places we hit, what, Sedona, then uh, <laughs> White Sands Missile Range Museum, uh, Carlsbad Caverns, and Roswell. That's fun. You ever been to the Moriarty or the Southwest Soaring Museum there in Moriarty? I have not. And uh, we were going to stop, but uh, we were passing through like about 1 p.m. on the day that it was snowing. And in order to get through that pass into Albuquerque, we were thinking that our best chance was just to keep on rolling and not let anything uh, get bad overnight. But I'll definitely be stopping off next time. It seems like in the last two years I've been through there like three times. Also be trying to lose a little bit of weight so that I can uh, partake in a uh, fun uh, instructor ride. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. Hey Josh. Hello. Hi. Hi, hey Josh. John. Hi Josh. Yeah, so my combo map didn't find the UDP port. I don't know why. Mine gets that occasionally. I'll just shut it down and restart it. Yeah, I did. It seems to find it on the second attempt. It doesn't do it very often, but I've had it. I thought I saw you head this way, Denny. Yep. I just kept going in the dark. Couldn't see nothing. <laughs> oh, I'm above all the hills. I can see everywhere. Once you get near the today. point there, you'll get lots more lift. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Keep wanting to get up there. Yep. The variation on the wind is high today.
good looking smoke there, Brian. Holger has his boilers up. I hope he wants them up. Oh, he has one side in. I didn't saw. Oh, they're down. They're down. They were up just a minute ago. I didn't find some problems. Do they not have a score on it? Oh. <laughs> Very interesting. The test before was okay, so I go in. We are, that's not okay. I don't know. Is it 180 degrees opposite? <laughs> yes. Okay. Absolutely. No, no, I can't uh, start the program. That's the reason. Uh, the ah, program okay. didn't found, found the UDP uh, port. I don't know why. You got to do it the old-fashioned way, here. Yes. With an instamatic camera and put your face on your map reading skills. Yes. <laughs> Looks like a pretty good crosswind here on takeoff. People are dealing with it, though. I noticed DGT tried to get in right when we hit 40 people. Snow for Monday has come into two to five Please enjoy your channel. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Are you playing football again, Hunt? Uh, yes. I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't know. You, you were just unfortunate to. Yes, I'm, to uh, get... I've, I've, I've been playing 20 years and uh, nothing happened. No. So I was quite confident that it won't happen any time, but it happened. <laughs> you are a little older now, my friend. Yes, I am. Age and treachery is what I hear wins the game. <laughs> yeah. Unless they get frustrated and take their legs off, the young guys. There is that.
I heard the German national team scored a very fast goal. Oh yes, uh, yesterday. Yeah, eight seconds or something like that. Yes. Yeah. It wow. was a quite good game, but I played Condor. I didn't watch it. <laughs> okay. I only uh, watched the highlights. Yeah, I, I watched the full game Denmark against Switzerland. Okay. It was a draw, no goals. Okay. So it was quite boring. And only a few chances. Yes, Germany played uh, very bad the la last uh, six years, I think. And now it's the first time they played good. But they changed the whole team. And the coach. Yeah. And I heard that um, okay. Austria made a very fast goal as well. Seven seconds. Okay. Ow. I can't remember <laughs> if they were playing Slovenia or Czech Republic. Nobody was in line to see that today. That, that, that person is disconnected and had a very, very exciting launch. That's not good. Uh, it looked to me like they did the thing where they just pulled back all the way the, from the minute they started rolling and then just was in a perpetual stall until they hit the ground. Oh, that's not good. The U.S. men's team was in a game this week, in a semifinal game, and they had a goal scored on them in 38 seconds. Oh, yeah, that's fast as well. Sounds about right for the men's team, U.S. They ended up winning, but they were crap. And I waited 90 minutes for Denmark to score, but no goals. <laughs> it's not fair. Better than losing. Yeah, that's true. The opposite of a drinking game, where you usually take a drink every time someone scores. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't have been fun. I watched the Super Bowl this year, but they don't play. They it's only uh, commercial breaks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to have time to get to the refrigerator, you know, and grab stuff to eat. <laughs> yeah. Go to the toilet, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't watch that stuff. But I think uh, the Americans have gotten more into soccer, right? Oh, yeah. It's been growing over the years, but... The money and the focus is on other sports, really. But they are expanding to Germany. One of their um, league uh, games, they play in Germany. And it's usually full, the uh, arenas. Yeah, the NFL has been playing games uh, you know, early season games overseas to mm. drum up support. I think the uh, NBA, the National Basketball Association, is doing that too. Okay. Anyone you want to watch Supercross? That's fun to watch. What's that? Oh, okay. I don't have TV, but that's what I like to watch. An orthopedic surgeon I had said they were his best customers. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's a dangerous sport. Yeah. The only thing more dangerous is probably riding on the street. Both a lot of fun though. Well, oh, it puts a grin on your face. I've, you know, I've got on one of these fast bikes before. Rode it. Hey, Denny. Hello. I was about 13 years old, and I had a friend whose brother was a professional motorcycle racer, uh, clay flat track bikes. You know, they go around with the back end hanging out on quarter mile and half mile tracks, and it really made an impression on me. I mean, this guy's got to be nuts to do what he does. He tried riding on the street once, and it scared the shit out of him so much, he never went back. Really made an impression on me as a kid. Yeah, it's dangerous. Cars like to run you over. Bad enough of the bicycle. Have you ever seen the Isle of Man CT? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Richard, have you seen it in real life? No, it was my ambition when I was a kid and I was interested in motorbike. So I never went. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, yeah, everyone. Well. Well. You too. Enjoy your Sunday cruise. I actually have no idea how to fly. You're in the right place then. I don't understand. They didn't okay. want I, I tried to convince them to winch launch my stimmy, but they didn't want to. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, good luck, man. Yeah, good luck. It's going to be really interesting to see everybody start the race and get stalled out on this mountain ridge. Yeah. Oh, it's smart. I would have checked which areas were better to climb down low. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm too high now. I know one down low, but it's not. I realize it's not where I'm going to be when I start, so I made a mistake. I don't plan on being way east when I start. Well, the worst thing since I took the stem, I had to dive back down to 300, you know, AGL to take off to get started. It was like 1430 I had to dive down to.
I mean, technically, you could just go around. You don't have to go over the mountain. Yep. That is a likely outcome, actually. At least to the west of ways. One of those, what does Tim and Frank do races? No. Uh, not for, not, not what I would do, I don't know. Just fly, get rich. <laughs> Oh, 1900 is so low. Go, go, Rich. Cheers, Bruce. Yeah, good job. I got to finish so I can go buy a new mobile phone. A car ran mine over. Nope. <laughs> That's a bummer. Yeah. Did it fall off your did you drop or something? Or? It fell out of my pocket when I ran across a street and I didn't realize it. I came back and found this, you know. Ow. That's mess.
Wow. I put a wrinkle. I didn't have any speed. Yes, the Lee is very strong. Oh. All of a sudden. Wow, okay. Start time. Me too. It's like, where did the altitude go? It's like a hundred meters were gone. I had a quite good starting point at the middle of the left side. Uh, of the starting sector. Okay. Not so much thing. It's it's quite good to uh, at the ridge there. <laughs> Four meters. Oh yeah. Right. The mountain is called Op Opilon. Uh, I'm flying at the uh, E server because the E server is um, oh, 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 oh. It's full. Right. Well, the problem is you're going to spend all this time climbing to get over the ridge, then you're going to fly into the sink on the other side. Yeah, that's why I'm going the other way. I'm that much of the noise. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, Franca. That's people discovered that same spot here. Okay. Oh, not okay. Uh, yeah, there was another one to the east too. There was a hot spot, you, but that's not really where we want to be. So. That's a good start. Yeah, it's just an hour. Nice. Get going as usual. I'm going to be one of the last to start again. Oh, yeah, Mr. Another, Bruce. Another false start on my part. Yeah, I, I started way too oh, slow. Shit. All of a sudden, I was way low. So, Frank, you probably have DGT over there, right? I don't see him. He started very early. Oh. Yeah, but he's on your server. Yes, he is. Yeah. 
Yeah, he couldn't get in either. I have a question uh, around these uh, turn point helpers. Uh, I've never used them. Are we allowed to use that? Yes, the turn point That's helpers. Yes. Yeah. You okay. can technically put penalty points for them, but no one knows. They've never done it on this server. So if, it, if it's on, you can use it safely. I, I've never used it, though. I just. Okay. Uh, I D I K. But Thank you. I can see how it could be helpful, though. I don't know. Yeah, they're quite helpful. I didn't use them for a long time, but yeah, they're very helpful, especially to start. Yeah. Well, thank you. I also think it's useful to know what radius the start sector is because you're kind of gauging based on if you're gauging on the PDA anyway. Yeah. If it's a huge start sector, you could end up, you know, getting to speed too early and not realize it was happening. Yeah, but also also your placement on the start line is extremely important how, how you position yourself uh, according to wind and, 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 and clouds and all that stuff I, I don't know I've never used it but I might Man, when the, I'm flying a slow bucket today. <laughs> when the turn sectors are those small triangles and have the pole there turn around, those are a lot of fun when you have it turned on. Oh, yeah. What was that geared? I said hi Andreas, I see him in front. Oh, okay. Hi. Hello. Looks good at the moment, at the third place. Yeah, good hi. It is fun going over the hills. The mountain. I have to have a talk with my wife. Oh, sorry. She, she must have put something in my food. <laughs> I'm flying backwards for crying out loud. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Andreas, we passed one.
I will take right there. Okay. Damn it, I'm heading off for the wrong. Just checking thermals. <laughs> no, 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 no. Lost the wing. No shoot. Lost two ambitions. I can see you down there. User in your channel, time down. Yeah. Was a good drive, was a good spot. Thanks, good. Congrats, Richard. Thank you, Richard. Congrats, guys. Congrats. Yeah. 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 It's a nice map. Third time to charm. Hi, Josh. Yeah, great. Go ahead, I'll count the clouds ahead to go around. No, the connection is back.
Oh, gut, heute Morgen. Sehr gerne, yes. Gut, heute. Uh, okay, what are you doing? I say you have a good height. Yeah, what is your altitude? Uh, 2,7. Okay. Yeah, you are now over me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's a corner, good climb. Yeah, I'm using the wave. User entered your channel. Hey, you're the only one that dropped there, John. Yeah. Hey, that's right. Hello? No, you didn't see it. Saw me? Oh, yes. Looks like <laughs> you're going straight to me. Yeah. Well, time to me. But. I had rise of weight. But I didn't see you until the last minute, so it was mine. Yeah, that was also my feeling. <laughs> yeah. Somebody playing with your Ethernet port, John? Yeah. Well, technically, the hot door is perfectly fine. Doesn't hit or anything. It's just, it's just too speaky. That's wild. Well, the TeamSpeak server is a different location, so I, it's just must be some kind of internet routing thing between me and the TeamSpeak server. Yep. Like DB one's approaching turn point two here. There's a max altitude of twenty four at turn point. 
เออเออ sorry which turn point where is twenty four I don't see any minimum no or maximum sorry We must have flown a task before that had a maximum altitude at some point. An exesor, for some reason, remembers it. It's bad luck doing that sometimes. It says there's a maximum altitude of 24 at the turn point, which is not right. Hi, Richard. On your right. Hello. I think that, uh, JS. Has a little bit more performance. Slightly better than the LS4. Yeah, Ten point two, Bruce. No. I started restarted twice. Well, it took me three tries to get it done. Pretty bad. Yeah, right, Richard. Going around your three o'clock. You must have good altitude. You must have lift down here, down this valley. Sure. DB1 didn't have enough altitude to get over the last ridge at turn point two. DB1. DB1. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, you're up there, John. Yeah, there was a there's a couple of spots where we were stopping kind of on this leg here. Oh, you stopped there? No, 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 I don't know. I did. I had. I just can't hit this little corner before leaving, so I have enough height to get around those corners up there. I didn't stop. I just slowed down, pulled up in it, and continued. There, further along on the left side, there is a really good peak to hit, really good lift. Cool. Yeah, everybody came by with a lot of decent altitude, so it had to be lit somewhere down here.
Ah, ja, schön, Deutsch. Hier. Danke. Ja, und massiv sind hier. Ja. Every time I fly in the parkour, I think of that clip from that TV show, The Office, where they go, parkour! <laughs> Looks like all are close together. Yeah. Next model. Hello. Uh, oh, uh, thank you, and congrats to you as well, Gert. I suppose you're very near my, nearby me. Yeah, that's right. Your screen. So far, this hasn't been a bad cruise. Yeah, it's been fine. Thought that second leg was going to be really tricky, but it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I think this leg we can pull a valley if I recall. I guess we could see it, right? Yeah. Well, to the third turn point anyway.
Wow, LS, LS is coming to really high. That was a start area here. <laughs> yeah. All that fun and we're back where we started. Go through the finish twice and the start twice. And the finish is on turn point one.
Anybody know what the divisions are on the uh, contour lines? How many meters per? On nope. the condor map? Yeah. Mm, I'm not sure. I got Well, Denny, you definitely took the right path. This one did not pan out. Yeah, I just saw that valley. I thought I'd go for the valley. Yeah, I like going high, but uh, yeah, I wasn't didn't quite get any as, nice set of ridges. It wasn't quite as high as you were, so I thought I'd better go for the valley.
Hey, Tim. At your 9 o'clock. Oh, hi, Brian. 4 k Yeah. Oh boy, which way to go? Yeah. We should have had a little more height. Yep. I would have gone north directly into the valley. A little more heights are always good. Unless there's clouds, then sometimes it's really bad. You're talking about today, right, John? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's going to be strong thermals. Clouds could form, yes. But there will be strong thermals. Just wait. That's right.
Er du nice, Morten? Congrats. Uh, thank you, where are you from? I went uh, yeah. east, so I'm approaching from northeast now. Okay. And I just realized I went into the bowl of regrets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just came from a place like that. It's not been my day today, but, but. But Tim, you should have final glide. <laughs> yeah, if I can get up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, John. Hi, Richard. Whew. That was hard. I took the wrong um, valley first, too, but I changed it. it. Costs a lot of time. My VR is going to move wobbly again. Just trying to think, what, have I installed anything? Which could... Seems to me this wind is all over the place. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of coming in at a weird angle with this valley, so it's it's yeah. got all these little spurs and stuff on it. Yes. Have you turned good? Yep. Yeah, on the last leg. <laughs> That's not a nice way to put that. <laughs>
this valley is really hard work if you enter it low down as I did. Yeah. Before turn point three. Yeah, towards turn point three. Yeah. The one uh, north of the line or south of the line? And north. Uh, Sure, you have enough height when you turn to get back. <laughs> I can see a big parking ticket in the future of Yield. All right. Hey, John. Hi, John. Back this I don't know. That would not, that's not the way I would go. Slow down, though. Yeah, that's such a smart guy, so I don't know. I wonder if he didn't accidentally went down the wrong valley. Hey John. Hi John. Now Dave is going down that way. Yeah. Oh, that's a high. Oh, that's a long time. I noticed they put the turn point in the lee of the largest mountain they could find. <laughs> yeah, no extra charge. Here, Dick, and my director out. Go on, south. Why is there a sink here on top of the ridge? Too much time climbing, but it was fun. Good morning. Congrats, Morton. Congrats, Morton. Congrats. 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 Oh,
You take it, John? Yep. I can see why people went back the way they did now. No, I'm, no, I'm coming back. Let's see what they the same but I had a struggle at the turn point. I entered too low. Okay. Thank you. Congrats. Yeah, congrats. 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 What a very fun task. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Now, this one. I don't, I don't didn't fly. I was. I slept in. It was so dark outside. Or, or it was like cloudy. It was, yeah, thick clouds and everything. I thought it was way earlier than it was. That's good. Congrats, Brian. Good. Dennis. Congrats, yeah, Brian. Dennis. Thanks. Congrats, Dennis. You're stuck <laughs> Yep, just barely. Yeah, I got stuck just before the turn point. I had to go back and forth a couple times on the ridge. <laughs> I don't know if I think I would have done a little bit better. Yeah, I climbed you guys high, but it was fun. Thank you. Congrats. 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 Yeah, Brian, but you did the right thing. I went the uh, way east. And even though I made the turn point before you, I was a lot lower. Yeah, In the bowl of regret. Yeah, he was yeah, down below me exactly. when I got yeah. there. <laughs> that turned out to be a nice Sunday cruise. Yes. Yeah, it did. A lot of mountains. Congrats, Josh. <laughs> Congrats. Hey, Denny. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah, congrats. Oh, that's cool, bitch. 
Congrats, Tim. Thank you. Congrats, Tim. Congrats, Tim. Congrats, Tim. <laughs> now, I bet you weren't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what you did there. Black. Are you using rudder? Yeah. Is that like a flick roll? Sort of, yeah. Speed was a bit high, but I hope. I'm just chasing Josh. <laughs> yeah, just well, I'm right behind you there, Trying to save your smoke. <laughs> you behind me, Brian. <laughs> yep. Been behind you ever since you passed me up. Just couldn't figure out where you went. <laughs> uh, There's a good reason you couldn't find me. <laughs> What are the fastest uh, at your server? 184. 184. Oh, okay. Mm. So I definitely didn't go faster. <laughs> Is way too much fun. Oh, yeah. No. Get him, Ryan. Kill the man, Borenhausen. Yeah, no, I'm coming the rowdies. The bad Get up, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried. You gotta start dropping the flap, though. If only I had a paintball gun. John. Thank you. Do that, John. Congrats. Getting dizzy here, Josh. <laughs> Aren't you guys down yet? <laughs> Flung in ever decreasing circles. Yeah, there so, was, oh, there they right. are. Clangbird. Yeah, that's Here right. Nicola, they are getting silly.
is uh, is the task this week in South France was quite interesting too. In nice one, Ryan. Thank you. So it was a nice task. I wish you all a good uh, good evening and a good start in the, in the week. Uh, I say bye. Thanks See a lot, bye. Frank. Bye-bye. 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 Whoa, early eclipse. User disconnected from your oh, channel. Oh, that was just John. Yeah, it was a STEMI. STEMI eclipse. Trying to recreate that Iron Eagle hammerhead there. It's got his motor on. Look out! Too well with it's got his motor on. Oh my! Oh, phew! <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, if he's got his motor on, he can crash everybody. He doesn't get hurt. Uh, mm-hmm. that, that, that's a different thing. I, I don't know. If, that's that other bug where it's like your altitude is not what really. Because other people see you at a different height. It doesn't always do it with the engine. Hey, Viking. Hello there. <laughs> you look nice and happy up there. Well, well. I just combed my hair. Yeah, what do you know? You know, you wouldn't think it was so much fun just to stand up in your cockpit and look around. <laughs> Especially at 200 kph. I hope you opened up the canopy first. <laughs> well, I forgot that. But when John is around, you should duck. That's very true. <laughs> Now, if I could figure out how to get X-Plane to react uh, with as high as a frame rate with uh, virtual reality, then it'd be really cool. What version of X-Plane you're using? I got 11 and 12, and uh, 11 seems to work a heck of a lot better than 12 does. Yeah, in it terms does. Of frame rate. It does. 11 is a lot smoother. 12 is, hopefully with this next patch, they're supposed to be addressing a lot of that kind of graphic stuff, so I hope it fixes it. That'd be nice. I'm looking at that KMI up there, it looks like he's standing still. Yep. Yeah, we've got time to get some breakfast and then the thermal should start. Congrats, Richard. Congrats, Congrats, Richard. Congrats, Richard. Congrats, Richard. Congrats, Richard. Congrats. 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 Kevin, too. Thank you. Congrats. Nice, Kevin. Congrats, Kevin. Um, Congrats. You guys, what the Quest 3 is, have you gone into the settings and adjusted your brightness and your contrast on your headset? I have not. I've adjusted the brightness. Contrast, you go into accessibility, and you can adjust your contrast. I've not played with contrast, but I've turned the brightness right up. I'll I tell you what, since I adjust my contrast, I went about maybe an inch or so from the left side, the blacks are black. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Is all that the, good or bad for this? Uh, it's, well, it makes the, co- makes the cockpit really look nice, you know? The blacks are black, and the grays are gray, and... True. You can try it, see how how you like it or not. The trees leap out of the shadows at you. Yeah. <laughs> Have a phone call, I'll be right back.
I don't pick up scam phone calls. <laughs> exactly. Triple eight number. I don't know anybody from a triple eight number. <laughs> yep. That was nice, but I wish I'd taken a GS3. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting when I flew past you that I was probably good for the same glide angle as you, but probably 20 kilometers faster. At least. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit like being on a motorway and a Ferrari going by. Still, sometimes the Atlas IV works out on these kind of tasks. I think there was too many bits where you had to push into wind to get yeah. to the next ridge, and that's where you lost out. Yeah. Yeah, from one to two, there was a lot of that. And I think uh, second leg, two pushing into winds, you had to do quite a bit of ridge jumping. Yeah, and I made a mistake on the last leg as well, um, because um, if I just gained a little bit more height, I could have just started hopping over the ridges instead of going a long way. Anyway, it was a nice flight. It was a nice flight. Yeah, I wasn't really was racing fine. today because it, it's Sunday. It was cruising. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, me neither. Sunday cruise, that's what it's all about. Yeah. In the dark. <laughs> in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, what, blinded, what is this thing with three o'clock in the morning or whatever? Yeah, blinded by the sun. I'm, I'm sure if you were to start it up again and, and turn the time up to noon, you probably still get the same kind of weather. Yeah, you just, you, like the, the thermal stuff, you just turn off thermal. If you don't like I, clouds, I know. just turn thermal activity off and then it'll be daytime. Yeah, I mean, the, the only thing, if you like, play a task with like no wind, you would, this would actually do something because Condor does generate uh, wind up on the slopes that are, the sun's shining on. So if you said like, you know, like 8 o'clock in the morning, there'd be, even if there was no overall wind, you would have air moving up the, the sunlit slopes and down the shaded side. But with the strong winds we have, that's not going to do anything with this. Just, I, I don't know. I don't get these tasks. I don't understand the 4 o'clock in the morning thing. Well, we're all going to have to change gear, I think, when uh, Condor 3 comes out. Yeah. That'll be interesting. I, I, I'm just worried that they'll just, they'll just take advantage of those changes to make even worse <laughs> tasks. <laughs> well, listening to what Week said the other, uh, last week, I think it was, um, every flight that he's done in Condor 2 and then replicated in Condor 3, it's slower in 3. Yeah, he said give a more realistic representation of flying in real life. Yeah, I mean, this, this belting along at V&E with the wings fluttering is not very realistic, is it? <laughs> no. Nope. Have we gotten any more rumors in terms of a uh, release date? I have not seen anything on the forum. Yeah, I've not heard anything. There'll probably be 20 something for the year. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a safe bet. Before Christmas. Yeah, they only said that 10 times between Condor 1 and Condor 2, so that's not bad. You know, 10 times they said to be Christmas. <laughs> Before a Christmas. You never know. It might even be yeah, a nice present site. Every year for 10 years, they said, before Christmas. Viking, your spoilers are out. I know. I'm, I've been flying with them all the, all the way. No, no you because, haven't. Uh, Have you? Yeah. I'm just enjoying the scenery. Yeah. I'm not in a hurry. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've been struggling like hell on this task. So, no, I was just a fast over the wrist chair, so I got a little wobbly wings, you know. So. Rats Viking. Rats Viking. Thank you. Rats Viking. Rats. Rats. I buried myself halfway through the task. I, I simply buried myself in a in a valley. It was a terrible flight. Oh. <laughs> I hope you all had a good one, though. I yeah. made it to the airport at the end. I did the same Viking, but I waited till the last turn point. Well, that was clever. Yeah. Well, well, I, think, I think Ellis or Lee Michel, he will win. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep, he's coming in hot. Ellis yeah, was very high going to the. Uh, Going to the, what turn point was that? First turn point. No, I'm not sure, Morton. The difference between the LS8 and uh, the 3 index wise is not that great. Mm, maybe. Let's see. that other person in the glider with you? I don't know. He really wasn't him. there. <laughs> You've been picking up strangers again. <laughs> I hear it's illegal to pick up uh, additional people on the course. <laughs> I was higher than Ellis a turn point uh, two, and we were together pretty much. I was maybe even slightly ahead of him, but we parted company at turn point three, and I'm afraid he probably took the better way. How many turns do you fly? How many? Are you talking to me? To all. I still uh, uh, see the stream from Tim. What do you mean? Service do you mean on the ridge or what do you mean? I don't think we understand the question. Do you mean turn points? You're still on flying, right? No, we landed. Strange, okay. Bruce, uh, is, flying. Uh, Bruce is still on the course. Yeah, it's he's, he's only about uh, six kilometers to go. Oh, yeah, I'm a minute away. Yeah, and Viking just landed on my stream. Really? Yeah, yeah just landed. Just Viking. Oh! A little tailspin. <laughs> All good. Always oh, the lee side over here. It's like I'm not climbing very well. Oh, there you are, Bruce. Oh, sorry, I was in the past. I was <laughs> on the wrong, wrong uh, position in YouTube. Yeah, so you can. Stamp. You can fast for forward. Yeah, it's weird. If you watch the streams, you can fast forward to the end before we finish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've, I've actually tried to do that before watching live streams. I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna go fast. No, wait, oh, no, no, it's a live stream. I can't fast forward past now. <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah, when wrong, they though. make computers uh, with the tachyons. 
too much space. Insert your own little Maybe space ball slip proof. there. Congrats, Bruce. Congrats, Bruce. Congrats, Bruce. Yeah, that would be fun, John. You can tell the streamer, don't even bother. It's quite funny when my wife is looking at paper photographs and she's trying to pinch the screens. <laughs> nice. You can't zoom in on the paper photograph. Yeah, seven for Sandal. So, congrats, Morton. You made it. Yeah, thank you. Congrats, Morton. Congrats, Morton. Wow. Here, too, and Josh, and yeah. what is what is what are you what is the saying? Even blind chicken will find a pawn once in a while. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ein blindes Horn findet auch mal ein Horn. Ja. At least it's in Danish. Man kann nicht wissen, wo die Hühner pissen, aber man kann beweisen, wo die Hühner scheißen. <lacht> Der ist gut. You didn't know that one, Gerd? No, the first time. User entered your channel. User left your channel. Oh, <laughs> give me for a second. How good are LS8 brakes? Okay, hold on board. I say bye bye, guys. Thank you for flight. Yeah, bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Nice evening, everybody. Bye, bye. Yeah, I'll jump out as well. Yeah. Thank you for a nice flight and uh, have a nice evening. You as well. Bye, Mark. Same, 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 same See you guys. I'm out of here also. User Thanks for a great channel. flight, guys. See you tomorrow. See you. User disconnected See you all. See you later. Tomorrow. User disconnected. Oh, that was a terrible evening. <laughs> User disconnected from your channel. Good thing I didn't know it was retracted. John. User joined your channel. Evening. Disconnected.